Welcome and thank you for joining me here today for another piano lesson with Warren. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about how you can seamlessly move through key or what we call modulation so the singer is not interrupted or affected. They can follow you along in the modulation. But before we get into that, if you're new to my channel or if you've been following me for a while, and you have not subscribed yet so you can be notified, please hit that subscribe button. And as always, a thumbs up and a comment is appreciated along with that. So now we're going to talk about how you can modulate between keys. And also this video, I'll provide the LMS file for this video. So then you can uh, go review it later. And what is an LMS file? It is the audio fused with the MIDI. And the only program I'm aware of that plays these LMS files is Mediculous. And you can download Mediculous for free and just drag and drop the LMS file once you download it. And Mediculous will play it back for you and you'll be able to hear my voice. You can slow it down. You can transpose it. You know, you can uh, loop certain sections and you can really milk this video and get the most out of it. All right. So let's jump into this. <clears throat> the song that I played in the intro, in the cross, it's a hymn. And I want to show you, if you're playing a hymn, and for example, for the uh, last stanza, you want to move the congregation up a half step. I'm going to talk about some of those modulation techniques. But let's take a look at the chorus. So... So that's the chorus of the song. And I was playing the melody. The melody ends on the tonic of the key. We're in C. The melody ends on C. So the first step of modulation we're going to look at is what, what is known as the common tone modulation. And what that simply means, it means the chord that you end on and the chord that you're going to use to propel you into the new key will both have that particular tone. So in this case, we have C, the melody ends on C, the chord ends on C. My next chord must have this C, common to both chords. So because I want to propel to C sharp, I am going to use the five chord of C sharp to propel me to the one C sharp. Mm, so the melody ends Rest beyond the river. See that? The common tone. And this five chord sets me up to land on one. So. soul shall find rest beyond the river in the cross so you see how it propelled me it sets me up once the singer hears that chord you're going to force them to move to the new key with you and that's what i do when i'm playing hymns for congregation you know And I'm just walking it up from one. And if you watch my video last week on uh, passing chords for beginners and intermediates, that's what I'm doing right here. The first inversion, passing to take me back to one. So go back to the key of C. If I want, I can do a 
I can play this chord also. The four over five. So it's like a four chord with the five in the bass. And that, I can walk that bass up and that also uh, helps me to move to the new key. So that's what we call the common tone modulation. And I use it just as I re um, resolve to that one chord. Five, six, because you have one measure before the second stanza begin. So you have to make sure you squeeze that modulation within that measure. So that's why as soon as I hit the one chord, one, two, three, I just did some some little passing chords right there. So once you download this uh, LMS file, you can slow that down. Because I want to focus on modulation for this video, not passing chords. However, so that's the first one. It's called the common tone modulation. It works when you're going up a half step to the next key. And when the melody ends on the root note. Now, 90%, if not more, of most of the songs out there the, the, at the end of, end of the, the chorus or end of the verse, the verse, they end on the one. The melody usually resolves on that one. So that's the technique you can use right there to modulate. Now, what if you want to modulate a whole step instead of a half step? How do we do that? Uh, let's show you that. So. Now I'm in the key of D. So what I did right there after I end the because I only have one measure, I jump to the five of D. very quickly. The other thing I do to really help the singer find that new tone, I make sure to voice, voice my chord to the starting note of that melody. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever. Let's do that one more time. From the old key, Just like that. I went from the C to the five. And it's always nice to walk up that bass so the singer can hear that there's a tonal shift in terms of the key moving to another key. The song moving to another key, actually. Last time, so. That's it, just, you know. Raise the key again, half step.
And this time I went from E flat to F sharp, which is a minor third, but it's the same thing. G flat, F sharp. It's the same concept. So I was in E flat. Um, go. I did that chord right there. Sus chord. Now my recommendation is that when um, playing for a congregation or even a singer, soloist, that you didn't rehearse with, if you're going to raise the key spontaneously on them, it's best to do it in increments of half step. You don't want to do whole steps and <laughs> minor thirds on those drastic leaps. Now if you're playing solo piano, you can go ahead and change to whatever key you want. The concept's the same. The five chord of the new key as the setup, and it will resolve you to the key that you're going to. And it's always best to voice that new one chord for the new key with the melody at the top, whatever melody note that's supposed to be, because that will really help the singer hear the new tone. So that's how you can seamlessly move between keys. Let's try it with one more song that's not a hymn chorus of this popular uh, worship song. how I just modulated right there. Help the singer to go up. keys. This time I just moved up a whole step. So I was in D, 
And when I go, um, when I mention your name, so two things that's important that I did right here at this specific spot to make that modulation sound powerful. I end on the one. First thing I do, I walk the bass down to the flat seven. Not the seven, because I'm getting ready to get out of D. So I want to start create that tension. Then when I go to the five of the new key that I'm going to, I play it as a suspension. So you can really hear that this chord's going somewhere. And that makes the uh, modulation powerful. So let's try it again. So, uh, So that's modulation. Those are the two ways you can move seamlessly through keys, either modulating to a, a half step or to a whole step. All right, so thanks again for watching, guys. If you want the LMS file for this video, click the link in the description and it will take you to the website where you can download it. And um, also, if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching. Keep listening, keep singing, and keep practicing. Don't forget to give me a subscribe, a thumbs up, and catch you soon in the next tutorial. Have a good one.